Sorry, it's DJ. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to clean my lens thing when I'm done. But I got an all great unboxing. So, yay. Um, this is, I don't remember what the um, theme is. I'm not good at remembering themes. You guys know this by now. So, we'll find out the theme together. <laughs> but, yeah, this is the regular box. Remember, if you are a subscriber, to Owl Crate or even if you just get a first time box from them and you haven't got yours yet if you don't want to be spoiled then again don't watch because I don't want to spoil you guys' enjoyment of what you're going to be getting in the box but yeah so excited to dig into this so yeah but let me get this going oh and if you're new to my, ch my channel hi I'm Lori and welcome to Lori Book Track Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Okay. Usually the theme is there, but this time it's not. We already knew about this. Okay. Let me see. It is Through the Enchanted Forest. That's right. I already know what the book is, and I already know basically all the items. So, it's not really going to be a surprise for me. But it'll be a surprise for people that didn't look. Or that don't know about Owl Crate. We'll save that for a little bit. We got something here by... It's an Owl Crate exclusive and it's by Jupiter and Ivy Designs. Guys, I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't tear anything important. Oh, got our ornament like they do every year. It says, "Trees in your eyes, stars in your heart." And this, I can look because, like I said, I spoiled myself this month. Um. Do -do 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 Nope, that ain't it. it. Says, when thinking of enchanted forces, we can't help but be inspired by Cab's Water? Something like that? Cab's? Cab's Water from the Raven Boys. I've never read that, so don't know. <laughs> Says, Jupiter, or, yeah, and Ivy Designs created this stunning wood mark, wooden ornament for you to sp display during this holiday and all year round. There you go again. Sorry, I didn't realize my camera was so out of focus. I don't know what's going on today. But, yeah. So that's the first one. Which will definitely go on my tree when we get it. Okay. Let's keep opening the the things in the thing because we got another one. This has oh, this is pretty. I did get spoiled, but I didn't realize how pretty it was. So, <laughs> but it's a wood. It's a bookmark. This is like really heavy. It says there was a song in this forest too, but it was a savage song, whispering of madness and tearing and ra and rage. No, Naomi Novak. And then on the back it says her. Paper World? That must be who designed it, I guess. Look at this, though. So. Stunning. It's got the tassel. I like that. Let's see what it says. This one says, um, Next time you're reading about magical woods, be sure to use this gorgeously metal tassel bookmark designed by Her Paper World. It's made of etched stainless steel and is inspired by uprooted which i never read that is so heavy that's interesting we got this type you know definitely different okay next we got these
stickers. It says Pips or Pip stickers by Pip Sticks. It's an owl crate thing. And then we got a coupon cool. We got a coupon on here for first month of any sticker subscription. 25% off. Cool. What does it say about this? Um, okay. And we... And we couldn't send a, well, you guys are, this is, you guys should already know that we're going to get a planner. I'll show that to you in a few minutes. But this says that, um, let me see, we couldn't send a planner without some magical planner stickers. We're teamed, we teamed up with Sticker Express Pip, Pip Sticks to create an exclusive pack of stickers Sticker sheets. One sheet is full of whimsical, whimsical forest vibes, and the the sheet underneath is wonderfully bookish, and you can color them in yourself. Happy planning. We must be talking about. We must be talking about this. Sorry. Yeah, we must be talking about these. Really cute reading list. I'm reading Special Delivery, which are the Owl Crate boxes. There's like a book and it has like a flower. And then on the other side it says love and book club and stuff like that. So, it's really cute. And like I should, let me show you that one more time. Okay. Okay, we'll do the planner next since I already told you about it. This is heavy. I, like I said, I got spoiled for this. The thing I don't like about this, I wish it would have been a different color than the white. I'm just not a huge white person. I like the design, though. It says, um, I hope that in this year to come, you made you make mistakes. Because if you're making mistakes, then you are making new things. Trying new things. Learning. Living pushing yourself, changing yourself, changing your world. You're doing things you've never done before. And most, more importantly, you're doing something. So Diane, that's... Can you get a chance? Would you message Diane and see if I left my phone at the house? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, beautiful ma. So that's my wish for you and all for us and my wish for myself. Make new mistakes. Make glorious, amazing mistakes. Make mistakes nobody's ever made before. Don't freeze. Don't stop. Don't worry. That is, that it isn't good enough or isn't perfect. Whatever it is, art or love or work or family or life, whatever it is you're scared of doing, do it. It says, make your mistakes next year and forever. Mill Gateman. And it says, I'll create a little bit in there. And it says this book, this planner belongs to, if found, please contact. It has like, you know, where you can put in your book thing and color, whatever you're going to do there. And it has um, like the month is what you call it that way. If you don't want to use it until like, say, not ne until like 21. 2021, then you can wait until then. Then it has um, Book Wish, Monthly TBR, Weekly Planner, that has like to-do lists, reading lists, pages read this week, notes, stuff like that. Um, book reviews, weekly planner, like I showed you, book reviews, even though they don't really give you, like, much to write stuff down, like, much room, but it has, like, title, rating, author, gender, gender, how do you say it, gender, gender, whatever, gender, gender. Pages, date, started and finished, thoughts, and then it's physical book, ebook, audio book. And then more book re reviews. 
um, favorite quote, um, monthly wrap up, which tells which asks is total books read, the different genres you read, total pages read, favorite books, least favorite books, and books I did not finish. I do like that because there's so many books I forget to read. And then I'd never go back to reread them for a long time because I forgot that I started them. So I do like that. I do like that. But they do give you notes here. So I guess if you, you can do some of your reviews on these notes. Well, it ain't too bad that I guess that it's small, but I wish it would be a, just a little bit bigger for that reason. But other than that, they're not bad. I think I might use some of the stickers and put stickers around here because I'm not really, like I said, into white. So I think that's what I'll do. Um, it says, we are absolutely thrilled to partner up with Blue Steel Press for our, an for our annual reading planner. Again this year, take an owl crate members feedback into account we have delivered an even bigger and better planner for you we hope you love the floral and fauna how do you say that word word artwork throughout its pages okay i'll be right back you guys i'm gonna go and do that for my mom find out about her phone and i'll be back to finish the rest of the video all right let's get back with the video so the last thing before the book, well, there's a couple other things in here, but a couple things before the book. So we got a blanket. I know this is curl, curl, curl print related. It's, it says all forests, all forests are magic throw blanket. It says its blanket size is 40 by 50 inches, 40 by 50 inches. Inspired by the curl prints by Holly Black. Designed with love by bookmarked tattoos. So, let me see here. If I can figure out how to open this. I know there has to be a paper somewhere. Usually there is paper. Yeah, there we go. I found it. That's it pretty easy. That's fine. It may take me five hours to find something that's right in front of my face. get this off of here. You'll be in business. There we go. Okay. Oh boy. I'm sorry you guys. I'm just not feeling good. But we see. Okay, this this way. This is what it looks like. I don't know what it says. My, I hurt. I'm sorry. Well, I think I already read what it said, didn't I? Well, forces are magical. But I don't know if you guys can see that really good or not, but it's pretty. It's really soft. So I do like the softness of it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it for myself or maybe give it to somebody for like a present. But I do think it's nice and soft, which I like. That's kind of why I didn't want to take it out of there in case I decided that I didn't want to keep but It's okay. We'll roll it up. I'm going to try to put it back. Sorry, I'm just hurting like really bad still in my my shoulders. So. Or I might just keep it. I have 50 million blankets. What's one more, right? Okay. Now let's see what it says about that. <laughs> Let's find the blanket. Okay. Cozy up with this official license throw, throw blanket featuring a quote from the Curl Prince by Holly Black. You'll instantly feel transported to the Forest of Fae. Designed by the very talented book it, bookmark and tattoo artwork copyright Holly Black. So, yeah. I'll probably keep it because, you know what? I can use it when I'm reading my Holly Black books because I did get the Owl Crate special edition yesterday 
for uh, the last one, The Queen of Nothing. So I can, why I'm reading the whole series, because I'm probably going to just go ahead and reread Curl Prince again. I'll just use the blanket. Maybe. We'll see. Then we got this, you know, just a thing about the next book in the um, Amber and Dusk, which I still haven't read, that we got last year from Owl Crate. But the next one's by um, Lara Celine. And the second one is, the new one is called Diamond Dawn. So, so that, and then on the back it says, Once upon a time, I dared to dream of a strange, lovely world where I belonged. Okay, so there's that one. And now we're a pin in the book. I already know what the book is. I'm so glad they gave us back the, the little booklet again. Okay, the book is Winterwood by Cher, Shay Earnshaw. And she wrote The Wicked Deep. It's an Owl Crate exclusive, signed edition. And here's the pen, because the pen is always related to the book. That's what the pen looks like. If I don't drop it and hurt my inner. There's, I'm not going to take it out of the thing, so that's what it looks like, though. Sorry, I'm a little slow. Okay, now we will. There's a letter from the author. And it's, it's, look at the edges. I love the edges. I'm not really sure about the book. Like I said, I'm not really a white, white person. But I like the rest of it. I love the blue and I love this color, the gold in the for the moon. So. Um. Oh, this is going to be a longer, another long video, but what can you do? You guys know me by now. My videos are not short. It says, Winterwood, New York Times. Oh, I already said that. A spellbinding, binding tell of witchery, deadly secrets, and woods that hold grudges. And here is the author letter. I'm not going to read it today. It will be here for a year. That's the letter. And I'm sorry, my mic really slow. Where it's signed. Um, I do love the blue edges, so that's nice. That I like that. I love the in the pages there. Um, let's see, it's 300 and 14 pages. Very, very pretty, isn't it, the blue? I got two. Ooh, that's gorgeous. See, since I don't like the cover, I'll probably just keep the cover off of it and... Just use it like that, because, yeah, I think that's what I'll probably do. Just take the cover off and just read the book. That's beautiful. I might add some stickers to the book. I don't know. I don't really want to stick book pit, pit, um, do that, though, because I do like the rest. I just wish it wasn't white. But anyways, it says, be careful of the dark, dark woods, especially the woods surrounding the town of Fear Haven. Some say these woods are magically cursed even. Rumored to be a witch. Only Nora Walker knows the truth. She and the Walker women before her have always shared a special connection with the woods. And it's a special connection that leads Nora to Oliver Huntsman. The same boy who disappeared from the camp for wayward boys weeks ago. And in the middle of the worst snowstorm in years. He should be dead, but here he is alive and left in the woods. But no memory of the time he'd been missing. He's been missing. But oh. Nora can feel an uneasy shift in the woods of, at, at Oliver's presence, and it's not too long after that Nora realizes she has no choice but to unearth the truth behind how the boy she came to care so deeply about survived his time in the forest and which led him in the first place. Led him there in the first place, I mean. What Nora doesn't know, though, is that Oliver has secrets of his own, secrets he'll do anything to keep. 
buried because, as it turns out, he wasn't the only one who went missing, uh, missing on that fateful night all those weeks ago. For as long as there has been fairy tales, we have been waiting, I mean, warned to fear what lies within the dark, dark woods. And in Winterwood, New York Times bestselling author Shay in Earnshaw shows us why. Very pretty. Um, the Wicked Deep, I only gave like three stars, so hopefully I like this one more because some people that liked um, the first one a lot didn't really care for this one that got an advanced copy, so we shall see. Okay, we're almost dead. Oh. The other one looks like this. It's darker. It says, for our exclusive edition of Winterwood, we made the background a snowy white and changed the little stars to gold. We think this helps the gorgeous blue branches really pop out. Our edition also featured, featured stunning blue sprayed edges. Really pretty. And as you know, they got an interview with the author. The two different things, of course, like I was saying. Um... If you like that book, then you'll like The Lost Coast, The Prince's, the Prince's Guide to the Occult, and The Memory Tree. It's got a little crossword puzzle uh, interview, this time with the ones that did the stickers. Um, oh, this is cool. They put down um, other releases we're excited about this month. They put down the Toll song of the Crimson Flower, Sister of Shadow and Light, Calling Down the Hawk, and Girl of Storm and Shadow. Um, it's got a playlist for in Through the Enchanted Fa um, Forest. This says scan, scan the bar, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. It's got the November book box challenge. It's time for another owl bobble when they're having a, a an, um thing interview with the, the author about the or a, you know not interview but you know what I mean when they're gonna be talking to her. And then next month's box is tales of trickery. It says every December box will contain an exclusive book sleeve designed by. Chatty Nora, don't know who that is. It says to the stars who listen, dreams that answered, something like that. So, did it tell you? I can't remember. I told you. Yeah, I don't see like how they used to like put um like what um fandoms you can expect. I'm not. They don't have that on here. So they just have the sneak peek. That is it. I hope you guys liked this video. I, I'm going to let you guys go because this is going to be so long. And I will talk to you guys all later. Remember, if you like this video, thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon so you'll know when a video like this is being uploaded for your viewing pleasures. And I hope you guys all have a great reading day and a great reading week. And I love you guys all as a friend. And I'll talk to you guys all. On the other side.